In Chapter 12, we arrive in Solm, where we get lost because it's all sand. Luckily, we meet Fogato, captain of the Sentinels. He is willing to show us the way to Solm Palace, but first, we join him on a quick detour to take care of some corrupted. We join with the other Sentinels, Pandreo and Bune, who take to being in the presence of the Divine Dragon well. Oh! It's the Divine Dragon! The Divine Dragon! This is a route map, with the optional goal being to save these villagers in the bottom corner for extra rewards. One of these villagers holds a Master Seal, and I must have it at all costs. This villager, specifically, will be targeted by reinforcements, meaning I must reach him quickly. I poorly plan for this and find that this villager dies quickly. I spend two hours on this map trying to think of how best to save this villager from my terrible position without resorting to resetting the map. Eventually, I succeed and am able to keep the villagers alive. I collect my master seal and feel proud knowing that I saved a staggering 2500 gold on an item I could have easily afforded. In the post-chapter cutscene, Fogato congratulates us on a job well done. Alfred and Diamant note that they don't really remember the palace, or remember its prince and princess. What is the royal family hiding from them? Curious. We arrive at Solm Palace where we thank Fogato for leading us before he goes ahead and asks the guards to open the gate. This confuses the gang, and they soon find out that he's actually Prince Fogato. Meanwhile, Vale is gloating over nobody and calls Marth delicious. The hounds walk in and update her on our status. They decide to wait for us to pick up their ring order and save them the trouble. Vale has a heart attack, which means it's time for her to go to bed. Good night, Phil Princess.